All right, sisters fans. Now, something that I don't really think a lot of people have talked about in regards to Danny's recent predicament. Now, yes, I've seen a lot of people online, you know, uh, messaging or excuse me, uh, mentioning uh, Trinity in their tweets and whatnot. Like, yo, wh where's Preston at to come, you know, take care of this, uh, you know, slime ball, this piece of trash, you know, um, though not last week, but the week before last, like, you know, when the episode ended with Jonah slapping Danny and then in the uh, last episode, where is Rodeo? And the thing is, my, my question is this to everybody who's been saying, where's Preston? Where's Rodeo? That's a good question for one, because he specifically told Danny, I think, uh, what was it? That morning on the phone as she was getting ready for work. I think it was like that morning, like he, he would be coming back into town and asked her to dinner and, you know, she really wasn't feeling it. And, and I, I wasn't mad at Danny for that. Cause at this point it's like Preston, dude, you're out, you're allegedly back in Texas. You have no reason to come back to Atlanta, uh, especially after what just happened with Danny. So you don't need to be around that. But yeah, it, it's like he said he was coming back. He, he would, you know, um, see if she wanted to go to dinner. But that never happened, and I do hope that Tyler explains that somehow, because it makes no sense. I mean, at the very least, you would have thought that we would have had a brief cutaway scene of him calling Danny, and she, you know, for whatever reason, didn't answer. I think a perfect time would have been when she was in the bathroom with Andy, and then, like, there was another call coming through, and Andy would have been like, wait, is that Preston now? You need to answer that phone. And then she decides to, you know, buy Andy, and then, you know, declines the call from Preston. Or not because she doesn't want to answer, but because she's feeling conflicted in her emotions, which leads to her telling Jonah to leave because, well, for one, he's bad in bed, but the fact that she doesn't want to continue with him because now she has Preston on the brain, and... You know, then, of course, that leads to this, that, and the third. And we, we're still in the situation that she's still in. But my question is this. How will Preston react when he finds out what Danny did and what happened to her? That That's my question. She straight up murdered dude. I know we don't know for show if he is dead. But it's still a question that needs to be answered. If he is dead, how will Preston react? Will he be like, you know what? Um, I, I'm about to go back to Texas. Sorry, Danny. Bye. And then go. I mean, she already ran over your uh, step, racist stepbrothers with that um, airport, go, uh, airport cart. So it's not like she's afraid of, you know, hitting the gas. But I, I don't. I'm sorry, but even look. I still say Danny went too far against Jonah despite everything he did. Yes, A, agree to disagree. But that is, if that ain't a damn red flag, I don't know what is. Preston, go on, man. Just, you, 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 you I don't, I don't just another reason I don't think these two need to be together. Just no. No, no, no. I would, I mean, the worst is crazy and look I'm not and I'm not putting what Jonah did to Danny on her like see now if if she would have agreed to meet with Preston for dinner this whole Jonah thing wouldn't have happened no no that's not what I'm saying I'm saying it's like the grass ain't always a gre greener in the cow pasture <laughs> well technically it could be depending on where the cows take care of the little business but what I'm saying is Preston's biggest uh, uh, transgressions in her mind were the whole, like, you know, racist stuff, even though he didn't know certain things were, like, calling Danny Gal and whatnot. And, you know, then she, you know, get bent out of shape. Some people understand that. Some people like me, it's like, I get that, but it's like, you know, he didn't know. And when he asked you to explain, you would either not explain or... Or just, you know, condescend, you know, talk all condescending towards him. So, yeah, it's kind of like, well, Jeremy, what would you do if you were just, you know, if you had like a white girl or someone who wasn't black and they dropped the N-word, how would you feel? I would be like, oh, uh, excuse, well, wait, whoa, 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 excuse me? I mean, of course I can't speak on what I was saying in the moment, but it's just one of those things where I would ask like, what, what, what gave you the 
you know, the vibe or, you know, or the right to like, just drop that in front of me. Like, well, what's going on here? And then if they explained like, well, I'm sorry, I didn't grow up around a lot of black people or I listened to that kind of music. And it what's the saying? It's like the best, the best proof of change behavior is, uh, or wait, what is it? The best proof of improvement or someone trying to put in effort is change behavior. I mean, if they like continue to do it, that's one thing versus them not doing it or saying, you know, Hey, I'm going to remember that. So I think Danny is just one of those characters where I think Tyler, it's not just that Danny went too far. I think Tyler went too far with what she did to Jonah, where it's like, so what, the, what are we supposed to do with this? You know, what are we supposed to do with this? Like, are we really supposed to believe that Danny and Preston will just get back together after this? Like she didn't kill somebody for real. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I, how do you think Preston's going to react to this news? And what do you, how, how do you think they're going to move forward from here? I just, I, I, I don't know. It just seems like, yeah, they say nice guys finish last and you know, you have girls and some guys like this where they'll just go off, let go of a good woman, a good man. And then they either get roughed up or just find out that the person that they thought would be the one that they would, you know, have the best time with, um, you know, enjoy spending time with the most turns out to be monsters or not who they think. So they just, you know, drag themselves back to, you know, the nice person that they overlooked or friend zone and then expect to be taken care of. It's like, Nah, fam, you, you live in that hot girl summer. You do your thing. I'm throbbing in fat guy fall. Not not Preston. I'm I'm pretty sure he's muscular. I'm talking about me, but no, nah, I'm cool. But no, nah, I'm just saying like um, wh how do you think this is going to be written? I think Tyler needs to move delicately. Well, I mean, the season's already filmed as season six, so hell, whatever is going to happen is already going to happen. Ain't no going back from that. So I don't know. Feels kind of redundant even doing breakdowns sometimes because it just feels like too many things are done for the shock value, but not enough for the development and growth of the characters. So I don't know. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.